Seven things you must avoid when fighting with your beloved. in an abusive relationship right now, even though we hope that there are not that many of you, just leave and never look back. Unfortunately, it's most likely that your partner won't change. He or she has been using this form of problem solving for so long that it became a habit, so it's completely pointless to think that it will change. Pack your bags or his or her bags and end this as soon as you can. It won't go anywhere and you deserve way better than that. Well, that kind of got dark. Let's move along to our next point. Five, don't mix it all up. When you fight with someone, you naturally start to remember every situation in which he or she did something wrong. Never use it as an argument in your conflict. Yes, it feels acceptable at that moment to tell your partner that it's always his or her fault and, by the way, he or she didn't even wash the dog yesterday or forgot to clean up last Tuesday, but it will make your conflict even bigger. You were fighting about one thing and now, congratulations, you're fighting about every single mistake you did this month. What a successful way to solve a problem. But seriously, this type of conflict would end up getting ugly pretty quickly and leave you two red-faced from constant yelling. 
Also, your partner may have a logical question. Do I need to continue a relationship in which there are so many demands? If the fight has already started, stick to the main issue and don't try to prove your point by bringing up past issues. Who doesn't make mistakes? The important thing is to learn from them. So don't be way too hard on your loved ones and don't make a huge deal out of small domestic conflicts. Four, never ever talk about a divorce. Divorce is a complete end of your relationship as a couple. And you shouldn't bring it up unless you are 100% sure that you really want it and there is no other way left to save your marriage. You may not realize it now, but when you say let's divorce during a fight, this can become the biggest insult ever. These words may hurt the feelings of your partner really badly. Even if you do not mean it, if you say it on a regular basis, be prepared that one day your partner will answer, yes, let's do this. And what a major oops moment it would be. You may think that by doing it, you'll make your partner reevaluate once again how important this marriage is to him or her, but instead, you'll plant the seed of an idea in his or her head. And the more you will fight, the more your partner will think of a divorce as a possible option. So, no divorce talks. Only a very few and serious misunderstandings and conflicts do cost a relationship. And yours is most probably not on this small list. 3. Never leave the house in the middle of the fight. Making a dramatic speech, slamming the doors, and running into the darkness may seem cool in the movies, but in real life, it's definitely not a great way to solve the problem. We are all adults here, and simply leaving the house during a fight will only show how uncomfortable you feel staying under the same roof as your partner. And if, after this, you go to your parents' or other family member's house, it's even double trouble. But seriously, this kind of behavior is quite childish and useless. Low. 
Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your partner and friends. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and remember to always stay on the bright side of life. See you soon.